hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET Core MVC application how to implement the identity to create the new user and here we got a new output after we changed the error messages now let's before insert the new user details let's click the button control so here the validation controls here now let's enter the email charan at gmail.com and the password 1234 and the confirm password also same so 1234 the confirm password is also same now notice when I click the new user register what will happen see here we got a message the password must be at least six characters one non alphanumeric character and one lowercase and one uppercase let's follow these rules to create the password and the confirm password hash the same password and confirm password both are same now before insert this charan record let's check in our database table And this is a table. Once again, I'm executing this table again. And here we got the results. Right now, this table contains zero rows. Now let's insert the record. New user register. See here we got a message: the Charan, the user Charan at gmail.com is saved successfully. Let's check in our database table. In this table we have so many columns but we have added only the email and password let's execute again this table see here the username and the email both are same and the password you notice here the password is hash let's enter the another user details this time I'm adding uh, Peter at gmail.com and the password is and I click new user register so here we got a new message the user pet at gmail.com is saved successfully let's say uh, and check in the database table the Peter record is saved or not execute see here the Peter pet at gmail.com the username and email both are same and the password is hash that's it in this video I have shown how to create a new user register using identity in ASP.NET Core MVC application in my next video I will show you how to log in and log out functionality using identity if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have showed how to set up and configure the identity and migrate the tables in SQL Server Management Studio. If you missed my previous video part 1, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that link. Now this is the continuity of the, my previous video. In this part 2 section, I will show you how to implement the identity to create a new user details in this migration tables now if you notice in the user identity database there is a tables folder which contains some ASP.NET identity tables so now my aim is I want to register new user details in this ASP.NET users database select the table right click the mouse select top thousand dollars let's browse the table and here we got the results of this table right now this table contains zero rows now let's insert some new user details into this table now let's implement the identity functionality to add new users into this table before creating the user registration form 
using identity let's continue where we have stopped in the part 1 video in this part 2 let's create a new user registration details first open solution explorer in this project there is a models folder let's create a class in this models folder right click the models folder add I'm selecting class now let's write the class name new user is a class name new user class add and here we got our new user class now in this user class I'm just defining the public properties to create the user registration form for the view page so first let's add the package using system dot component model dot data annotations after adding the data annotations package now in this new user class let's create the property prop double tab which will create the property the first property is a string the string I'm adding here email and the second property I'm adding prop double tab string password and the third property is a compare password prop double tab string confirm password now let's add the data annotations here required name is equals to error message error message is equals to the error message is a string parameter please enter email display and name is equals to email let's add the another validation for the password so instead of adding this just copy this part and paste here for the password let's change the error message please enter password and the display label is a password and here I'm adding the data type data type dot password let's copy this data annotations paste here and the error message is confirm password confirm password and I want to confirm this password now I want to compare this confirm password with this password if both the password and confirm password both are same then only the user can register otherwise I want to display the error message so I'm adding compare the compare method takes the string type um, the property name of the password which is pwd that's it after adding the properties in this class next uh, open startup.cs file now in the startup.cs file there is a method configure services here in the services and if you notice in this configure services I have added services add DB context and I have added my connection string also get connection string method once again I'm strongly recommended if you confuse here please watch my previous part 1 video now let's add the new service to create a new user details for that dot add identity method 
in this add entity method if you notice here the t user and t role go to top after the reflection using Microsoft dot ASP dot net code dot identity namespace now let's add identity user comma and I'm adding the identity role also here the T role the second one identity role dot add entity framework stores the entity framework stores takes the parameter T context so here the T context is a DB context which is the identity DB context because we are implementing the identity to store the new user details that's it this is very important step now after that let's add a new controller open solution explorer I'm adding the new controller in this controllers folder right click the controllers folder add controller I'm selecting MVC controller MT add let's give the controller name is identity user is my MVC controller name add and here we got our controller identity user now in this controller first I'm adding the packages the necessary packages of using microsoft.asp.net code.identity then I have to import the model folder also so using the project name is identity membership code my project name dot models folder after adding these two packages and next in the controller I'm declaring the private read-only property read-only in that read-only I'm adding a class user manager and this user manager I'm adding the T user is a class name of the identity user identity user class underscore U M. then let's create the constructor for this controller CTOR double tab which will create the constructor now in this constructor I'm adding this part the user manager identity I'm deleting underscore here underscore um is equals to um semicolon now after that now let's add the new action result to create a new user for that I require the two action methods one for the HTTP get and the second one for the HTTP post so here public i action result the first one i am adding the http get method so the method name is the register and written view this is http get method now let's add the http post method http post the post method I am adding public async task in this async task the result is the I action result so add that one I action result I, I action result the method name is the register the return view Now in this register method HTTP post method I am adding the functionality to insert the new user details so for that I am creating an object for the 
identity user variable user is equals to new identity user identity identity user curly braces in this curly braces the identity user class will get the column names which column names so these column names we have we are getting here from this identity user the first one I am adding the username is equals to in this method let's declare my class name new user class uc is an object so uc dot and my class we have three properties email confirm password and password so in the username I am adding the email so the username for the register so the username is the email comma and the second column name I'm adding is the email is equals to uc dot email if you notice here the username and email both are same for the registration purpose so in my table the username column and the email column contains both same values which is the email ID then add the semicolon here after that let's implement the create async method to insert the records variable insert record rec is equals to await underscore um is a property name from this private read only dot create async method this create async method takes two parameters the identity user object name which is the this one user copy this one and paste here and the second one the password is the string password so the password you see dot I'm adding PWD which is our password column property name then once the record is inserted successfully I want to display the message for that I'm adding if insert record dot succeeded view back to display the message I am using view back dot message is equals to the user plus pass uc dot email is saved successfully semicolon then in the else part in the else part if the user is failed to insert the records I want to display the message for that I am implementing the for each loop for each variable error in insert record dot errors method errors property so errors property now for each model state dot add add model error this add model error takes two parameters the first one is a string key the key I'm leaving empty and the error message is unable to save the user details that's it we have written the code to insert the user new user details into this ASP.NET users table name and now we require the view page of this register method so before adding the view page to our project first we must build the application first build 
build solution. And here we got an error list, the type of namespace definition. So we got here double semicolon here. So let's close this error list. Let's rebuild the page again. Let's rebuild the project again. Build, build solution. And here we got a message build succeeded. Let's close this output message box. Now let's create a, a view page for this register. Highlight the register, right click the mouse, add view. The view name is register and the template here I'm selecting the template the create template. Create template is used to post the data. And the model class, our model class is a new user class. So select that one. Here it is the new user class. Then click add. And here we got our view page, the register. Now I'm changing the header, the h1. New user the register using identity h4 asp.net core mvc tutorials after that I'm adding horizontal line Below the horizontal line, I have one H4 header tag and horizontal line which I don't require. Just delete that one. And in the input submit, the value, the button value I'm changing to new user register is a label name, button label name. Then after the button control. I'm adding this message, the view bag dot message. Once the user is inserted successfully, I want to display this message. Let's add that one. At view bag dot message, and this message I want to display in the header tag H5. Let's add this increases medium devices I'm adding 9 the grid size 9 that's it you have done the complete coding part to create a new user details using ASP.NET Core identity but before run this application the most important we have to change a controller and view page name to change a view and controller name go to startup.cs file come to the bottom if you notice here uh, the pattern controller is the home which is a default one let's delete that home controller our controller is the identity user so add that one identity user copy that one and paste here and the action is the register view page which is this one copy that register and paste here that's it now let's insert the new user details browse with I'm selecting the Google Chrome default browser set as default click browse And here we got the register view page. And notice the header tag new user register using identity in ASP.NET Core MVC tutorials. Below that we have the simple user registration form with email and password confirm password. Let's enter the password. Now before that, without enter any details in the user registration form, let's click the button control new user register. See we got the validation error messages. 
So now let's add um, charan at gmail.com and the password is suppose if the password I have added 1234 and the confirm password is 123. See here the confirm password and password do not match. If I enter 4 and I click new user register. So here we got the multiple error messages. So let's fix that one. The controller come to the bottom. So this one error dot this variable name dot let's add the description here. Save the file. Now we'll check the results. I'm reloading the page again. And here we got a new output after we changed the error messages. Now let's before insert the new user details, let's click the button control. See here the validation controls here. Now let's enter the email charan at gmail.com and the password one two three four and the confirm password also same so one two three four the confirm password is also same now notice when I click the new user register what will happen see here we got a message the password must be at least six characters one non alphanumeric character and one lowercase and one uppercase Let's follow these rules to create the password. And the confirm password hash the same. Password and confirm password both are same. Now before insert this charan record, let's check in our database table. And this is a table. Once again, I'm executing this table again. And here we got the results. Right now, this table contains zero rows. Now, let's insert the record new user register. See, here we got a message the charan, the user charan at gmail.com is saved successfully. Let's check in our database table. In this table we have so many columns but we have added only the email and password. Let's execute again this table. See here the username and the email both, both are same and the password you notice here the password is hash. Let's enter the another user details. This time I'm adding uh, Peter at gmail.com and the password is and I click new user register so here we got a new message the user pet at gmail.com is saved successfully let's say uh, and check in the database table the Peter record is saved or not execute see here the Peter pet at gmail.com, the username and email both are same and the password is hash. That's it. In this video I have shown how to create a new user register using identity in ASP.NET Core MVC application. In my next video I will show you how to login and logout functionality using identity.